Hello guys, so today we're going to make some animations for our player, our Indian guy. And um, now the animations are much easier to do, but still they're a little bit a bit buggy or I don't know. Sometimes I get it wrong, so but let's see if it, if I don't get it wrong this time. So let's see. The first thing you want to do is add an animator component to our player. So miscellaneous animator and disable this apply with motion because sometimes it it makes our animation really weird. And then we're going to have to put this animator component animator in here, this controller over here. So uh, right click on the assets place, go on to create and animator controller. And now we have our animator controller. We can make it play animations. Okay, now it's now let's apply it to our player into here. And now if you double click on it on the the controller that we just created, you open this window called an animator window where all the trees and paths of animations will be. Now, right now, there's not, there's not, no animations because we haven't created any. But I'm going to make it right now. So let's start with some simple animation, with the idle, idle animation. So go into the project and go into this Indian stuff. Now, this, this they are not named, but I can tell you this: the first four frames make a, a walking cycle the the fifth and sixth are the idle animation and the other two the seventh and the eighth are the jump animation so these two this the fifth and the sixth are the one that we want one two three four yeah this is one but so yeah we're going to have to open a new window called an animation in window dock it over here why is the inspector so big man and just drag with the indian selected yes we have the indian selected you click on this bar over here and create a new clip and this is going to make a new uh, a new animation just write idle idle player Select those two by clicking one, clicking control and clicking the other, and drag them into the idle player thing. So now we have our animation over here. Let's see, I think it right now it's playing super fast. I think we can preview it. Can we? No, no not by clicking this button. By clicking this button. Okay, as you can see, our player seems like he's having a, a seizure when he's steady. So you're going to make it like five, like two. Okay, this seems like a nice saddle animation. And now we're going to go into the animator, as and as you can see, we have the animation that we just created is automatically added into the our animator and because it's on this orange color it means that it's the main animation and so if you play the scene the game as you can see our player will be always doing that stuff seems like he's with him or something now let's make the walk animation Again, click on this bar over here, create new clip, walk player, go on to our project, on to our Indian stuff, and select the first four, which are the walk animation stuff that I made, first four, drag them into here, let me see if we can preview it, okay we can preview it. 
Again, our player seems like he's having a seizure with his feet. I don't know if that's possible. But <laughs> let's, change, let's change this rate to 5. Okay. Now it seems like he's peacefully walking. By the way, you, you may have noticed that these arrows are now red and this something something that are all red and basically that means that you have to save it. Now nothing is red. It's just warning you that you may want you may lose all of that. Anyways, we are we have now our walk walk player animation created. If you go into our animator, our animation is here. But how can we make our player use this animation? Well that's what we're going to do now. So into mono develop. Actually no, not into mono develop. First we're going I'm going to explain this to you right here. So in this animator window that we have here there's a thing called parameters that work just like variables. You can pick which one which whenever you want. And uh, I'm going to create a new parameter. Basically this is a variable, but you cannot use this variable in code, just in this animator window. And we're going to create a parameter, an int parameter, that's going to be animation state. Okay. We have our parameter created, and let me explain to you why have I created that. We're going to make a way to access this parameter by code and for example if this parameter is zero then our player will be able to walk but if our player if this parameter is one then our player will go back to idle and actually you can make it you can make that those transitions right now make transition right click the transition click on this one and we have our create our transitions created and now Click on this transition right here, and you see all this complicated stuff. But never mind all that stuff. Just click on conditions and go on to animation state. And for example, if our animation state equals one, then our player will walk. Now click on the other transition. Go on to conditions, animation state, and you can stay let it as zero so if our animation state equals zero then our player will remain idle now let's make this animation sta state change with with the time with the controls so we're going to have to go to mono develop and what we're going to do is for example if our player is pressing the a key or the d key then the animation state will be equal to one to make our player jump our player walk but if our else, if our player is not uh, clicking those keys, then go back to idle. Simple stuff. And that's basically what we want to do. But first, we're going to add some stuff to make it work. Now, create a new animator. I don't know what this is really called. I call it a variable, but I know it's not. But it works like one. So I don't care. We're going to create an animator variable car called anim, and we're gonna set in the vo in the start function anim is equal to get component, and now use the lesser and greater signs to make this part over here equals the get component animator of our of our player. So let me explain what this does. First off, we're going, we are creating an animator component, a variable, and then we're going, we, we are setting it to this animator in our player. This one, this one. And now, let's simply assess, access this parameter, the animation state parameter. Now. Right here, if input dot get 
code A. We're going to add a line which is the anim dot set int set int figure and as, and as you can see the parameters over here the first are the name of the parameter and the second is the value so set int the name of the variable that we created in here was animation state you can simply copy it copy it go into assembly and do it and the value will be if our player is moving is I'm going to set it to 1 so 1 over here and this part is done of course if our player is moving to the right it also has to have that thing so just copy and paste it to there and finally if our player is not pressing anything else this is all badly configured so sorry guys if our player is not, press enough, is not using anything else we are going to set that integer to 0 set integer animation state Hmm, I don't know if I made this correctly. But you can check it out. Okay, so there is in all animation sets that we created and that is because this is must be a string name, so just add that those things right there to make it a string. And now it should be all fine. Maybe it is. Thank God. Now if we go back into Unity and go into our game what's going on? oh, window is up Unity is updating ok and click on play let's see if our animations work ok, so if we don't have any key selected our player will be idle and when we press A our player will be moving I don't know if you can see the animation the very well let me just make this game window monstrous to see if we can notice it correctly ok Papa is walking I don't know if you can see it anyway but I, I see it and our player is walking and that's what you made today